as a former paratrooper, I want to cover uh, my different form of nightmare fuel, and I call this the career-ending airborne injury. And I feared this every single time I stepped out of the aircraft, which is over 100 times, a quick counting, because it just seemed pointless after 100. It's pretty gnarly. Yeah, it so is. I, I will uh, turn it over to you while this plays. And right. uh, and I will narrate. Oh, it's good times, yeah. If, if you're into that sort of masochistic shit, that is. All right, so what we have here... That's pretty loud here. I'll turn it down. So they're standing in the door. That's the C-130. Okay. This is always the worst part here. I hate standing in the doors. All right, gentlemen. Let's see what's going on. And he's getting his uh, last-minute directions here. And they're getting ready. They're probably down to 30 seconds. 30 seconds which means anywhere from 30 seconds to three minutes or less. It's not an exact science. Okay, stand in the door. I always hated this. They're grabbing his uh, static line. And now you get a front row center view to your death. Now this is stateside, of course. Nobody's shooting at you. I've done that for uh, one time for real, and uh, I can tell you this right now, it sucked bad. Okay. I'm just wondering where this is. There we go. Ah! He's got a single point release for his rucksack. All right, so when you come out of the bird, all right, now this is picture perfect. There's nobody really near you. You're looking. The winds don't appear to be crazy. Okay, there's a little bit of chatter here. All right, now obviously this is... Uh, they went out the door somewhere between 12 and 1,600 feet. Um, now, typically, if they're going to do like a, a simulated combat drop, it's usually 800 feet. So this one's a little higher. It's full combat equipment training. All right. Uh, he's uh, watching his descent. He's doing everything right. Better do something. Doing a slip. Okay. He's coming up on... Uh, or he's going to lower his rucksack here. He's doing this last check to make sure uh, nobody's by him. Now, technically, he's doing everything right here. He's doing everything right. Now, he's lowering his rucksack because he's right around 200 feet. By the book. By the book. Now, look. It is. This is this is my, my fear here. Now, watch. And. Oh! oh! Broken leg. Oh. Yeah, you could do it. You think one or both? Probably one. Oh, God, I broke my leg, dude. Oh, just one, okay. Don't yeah. give me too much of so bad. Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah, look at his buddy here. Oh, uh, yeah, you okay? Uh, okay. Oh. I got to Drink water. Oh, Take some Motrin. <laughs> Walk it off. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, we got some people who, this is their nightmare fuel as well. We got Slick South 57 on Twitch says, this is how I broke my back. Good yeah. times. Now, another uh, one similar to this is uh, when I was in the second bat, we had a dude do a tree landing and literally had a piece of wood come through his leg. Oh. It just missed his artery. Oh. They had to saw the fucking shit off. Put him on his belly on a stretcher. Take him right to the hospital. Well, fuck that shit. I'm out. Oh, they got a whole freaking uh, mixtape over here. Not for the faint-hearted. Most nope. insane paratrooper accidents caught on tape 2020. Yeah. It's just some <laughs> crazy-ass shit, man. Airborne drops have ended a lot of careers. And you could do everything right and yeah. still get hurt. Watch Grunt Speak Live Tuesdays at 8 p.m. Eastern, and we'll do the same thing we do every night. Try to take over the world. Nah, oh, 